Today's quick tip is quick release plates and why you need a few. Now, if you've ever had to switch from your gimbal to a tripod or a monopod, then you know how time consuming it can be to take off the tripod or gimbal mounting plate only to spend more time connecting a different plate to the bottom of your camera. Not only does this take a long time, but you also run the risk of dropping your camera because you're holding it in ways that you aren't very used to. A quick release plate solves all of that and it's really simple and I'm gonna show you how it works. So what we have here is a quick release plate. This is the main plate that connects to your camera and that connects down into the face plate here, which locks. That's how simple it is. Now the bottom plate here will actually connect to the plate that you have on your gimbal or your tripod, monopod, mini pod, whatever it may be. And uh, it, co it connects with a quarter 20 connection. And as you can see here, this little lever locks your lever in place so that once you push this down and to the side, you are not able to release the lever. So that way your camera is locked on and you don't have to accidentally worry about bumping it. This is one of my favorite parts of the quick release plate. So again, this is really simple. Once you attach this plate to the bottom of your camera, then you can attach your camera to the other mounting plates. And again, you just find the quarter 20 mounting plate that is on the bottom of your camera here or the mounting hole. And you'll see on the bottom of this plate that connects to your camera, it'll have some orientation arrows uh, where your lens is going to face. Now, once you face that in the correct direction, then all you have to do is screw it on. Now they've, they've uh, created this handy little tab here. So you don't need any tools to actually connect this part to the camera. Now you may need a screwdriver or something like that connect to connect the actual base uh, onto your tripod mounting plate. But as far as connecting this plate to your camera, all you need to do is screw it on. Once you have it screwed on and lined up correctly, then you are pretty much good to go. Again, you'll take your bottom of the mounting plate and you could put this on any of your other devices, your gimbal, your monopod, whatever it is that you may have. Now, hopefully this quick tip has been helpful to you. I know it has helped me tremendously. Again, not only saving time, but also protecting my gear because once it locks down on this plate, I no longer have to worry about tightening anything. It's, it just locks and clicks right into place. So again, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and click subscribe. There are gonna be a lot more informational videos like this. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays. So again, thank you to everybody who has been subscribed and all the supporters who are there. And until next time, I'll holla at y'all later. I'm out. Peace.